a judge has sentenced socialite Rebecca Grossman to 15 years to life in the hit and run crash that killed two young brothers in Westlake Village back in 2020. The sentencing ends a nearly four year criminal saga that saw her refuse to accept responsibility for the boys deaths. KTLA Shelby Nelson has more including reaction from District Attorney George Gascon. That's right. After failed attempts to overturn her murder conviction and seek a new trial, Rebecca Grossman has met her fate. And just a short time ago, L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon expressed his disappointment over the sentencing. Rebecca Grossman, the former socialite and woman convicted of killing two boys in a Westlake Village crosswalk, learning her fate inside a Van Nuys courtroom, a judge handing down a sentence of 15 years to life in prison. And they did a wonderful job talking to the judge. Nancy Iskander, mom of 11 year old Mark and 8 year old Jacob, briefly reacting to the sentencing outside of the courtroom. Mrs. Grossman never said, I am sorry for what I did. She only said, I'm sorry for what happened to you. That is not an apology. In February, a jury found Grossman guilty of two counts of second degree murder, two counts of gross vehicular manslaughter and one count of hit and run, stemming from the incident that happened back in 2020. Evidence presented during the trial indicated that Grossman had Valium in her system and that she had been drinking before racing a boyfriend through a residential neighborhood and slamming into the Iskander boys. Before the sentence was handed down, loved ones on both sides of the aisle delivering emotional impact statements. Grossman's two children asking for leniency. Grossman herself delivering a statement and had previously written a letter to the judge from jail asking for mercy and saying that she is not a murderer. But prosecutors have long argued that the Grossman Byrne Foundation co-founder has shown no remorse, only blaming others rather than taking responsibility for what she did. The prosecution pushed for the maximum sentence. We're very disappointed. We, we were seeking uh, 34 years. L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon believes the punishment didn't fit the crime. He says parents shouldn't have to bury their kids. And there were two murders, so we were seeking 15 years to life for each count. Uh, and we wanted it to be consecutive, which means that she would have been in jail, in prison for 30 years plus the uh, four years for the hit and run. The court made it concurrent. And more than a dozen friends and family members of the Iskanders were inside that courtroom today. One Thousand Oaks pastor even saying that this incident has scarred the community. Some children are even scared to cross the crosswalk. That's the very latest from the Hall of Justice in L.A. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.